good morning from Central Porto. Um, had a late breakfast, so just had to start the vlog in the middle of town. Uh, we've just been inside this cathedral with all the mural on the wall. But I'd actually walked into a, a proper ceremony. A proper, we got caught in the middle of it. A proper ceremony where they were doing bread and wine, bread and wine and everything. It was. But we couldn't obviously leave mid through, so, so we just sat through that ceremony. Um, but it was. We didn't walk in today. We got the shuttle bus in, which was half an hour into town. Um, but I. Last night I went back to the room and was supposed to let Amy back in, but so you fell asleep. So I, I fell didn't asleep. Get back in. So. I just missed those things, I didn't, um, so I was really late editing last night's vlog and everything like that. But today we just, we're not sure, we didn't plan anything for today, so we're just going to see. I don't even know what's here. I've, I'm in my sort of Primark LA top, which is quite nice. Um, and also I had to put loads of cream on, I can't, t can't tell the timeline, but my neck was really sore yesterday. But, let's see what Porto has to offer. Right, we got off the bus for a little bit and now we're just walking down a hill we've just started to climb but we can't find it. Now look at the size of this Portuguese flag. I don't know if it looks that big on the vlog but actually it's massive. It's yeah, huge. But uh, but now we're just having a wonder and we're going to get a drink I think. Just to refresh ourselves. Creamed up a little bit my neck obviously it's really red. But now Similar to Lisbon with all these narrow streets and lots of houses and everything crammed together. I look just so bright in this. Look inside that flag. Where is it? Anyway, I'm gonna grab a drink and then get back on the bus. Wait, look at the size of these cans. Oh. Voy a cantar. Esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. Voy a cantar esta canción con mucho cariño de mi corazón a la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue y la casa de la bachata. La 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 la. la. La casa del merengue, la 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 la, y la casa de la bachata. We didn't go swimming this time, we decided we were just going to sunbathe. We've got my 
spot on top of deck 17. And it's the sail away party, so everyone's been given a flag. So we're all waving our flag as we soak up the last of the Portuguese sun because we're going to Spain tomorrow. So it's all very British. From the sail away party, uh, that British sail away, saw a couple of clips of it um, at the end just then. I forgot to mention before as well, um, as I got back uh, onto the terminal from uh, a Porto, each person who was over 18, so maybe we didn't get one, but I got um, a little bottle of port, I don't know if you can see that on there, little focus. But, um, but basically, it's just like, it says Ferrero Porto, and it's just like there. Uh, yeah, Porto Cruise Terminal opening ceremony. So, for the new terminal, it was the opening ceremony. No, it's not going to focus on that. But, um, but yeah, that was quite nice. Nice little touch. Everyone over 18 got a little bottle of port, um, which brings back memories of the, all the hockey team playing port to port, and we went uh, banger away. That was interesting. Quite messy as well. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Porto uh, was really nice. The bus tour probably saved us because we didn't really know where we were going. That just shows you that you should really do your research before you go to these places. But, uh, but yeah, similar to Lisbon in respect, but uh, different as well. Uh, probably a bit less commercialised Porto. Uh, but that, that adds to the charm, really, and you sort of get the the real feel of the place, not the... Because obviously when you go to some places, they're really over-commercialised, and it's just tourists, but this was definitely um, you know natives to the area, which was nice. Uh, and I also just wanted to say something that I've been thinking about at the moment is I'm hoping to be doing some more, um, probably what you describe as like main channel videos. If you watch YouTube a lot and you watch some of the, the bigger names on YouTube, they do. They obviously have their main channel and vlog channel. Well, I'm just going to do everything on one channel, but I've um, I've just been e expanding my equipment, I guess. Uh, so buying a couple of bits, uh, you know, lighting and more SD cards and stuff for my camera and um, and I'm hoping to just be collaborating with my friends and family just doing like you know, tag videos, challenge videos, um, question videos, I don't know really just I'm just going to see what happens well that'll definitely be happening in the next month or two definitely probably from September onwards I'd say um, but hopefully that'll be provide me with some more regular uploads just because obviously the vlogs are great but um, but obviously when I go back to uni and things like that, it's it's having that steady stream of content for my channel. So um, I just wanted to sort of get that out there and just see what anyone who watches these videos thought of that. But definitely, um, I'm definitely going to be doing some more sort of, or a different type of video very, very soon. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That'd be great. If you haven't already and you're new, seen this video for the first time, go check out the other three days. Um, they'll all be in the description. And as always, Go and subscribe. For now, I will catch you later.